Hello, ladies, gents, and double-fisted mongrels. We are going to run some Spelunky HD until I pull off the new spiffy incredible chain skip. Did it always look like this? Not the graphics, but the way the side scrolling. Do you notice whether there's a weird uh, stop-start kind of thing? It's, it's a bizarre. Maybe I'll just get used to it and I will not notice it again, but... I, I, I'm pretty sure it's not in my imagination. It's not completely smooth as it scrolls back and forth. Eh, whatever. I'll get used to it. I'm sure I'll be an elite spelunker coming uh, the, the, in the coming months that it will take me to pull this off. <laughs> because if you're unaware, there was a somewhat recent development in the speed running of... Spelunky HD. You can now skip the entire, entire quest line. Well, I went in here to get Belinda. Got damage in the process. Not the greatest move I ever pulled off. You can now in skip the entire chain of going to the black market, getting the Ankh, resurrecting, murder. You son of a bitch. You shot me because there was a present in front of you, so you have plenty of time to draw. He's the quickest outlaw in the West. He can pull out a shotgun right out of his pocket and pull the trigger in 0.02 seconds. Incredible. My respect. Hats off. Hats off to this belong to the freaking shopkeeper. Because damn, that was impressive. You can skip the entire process of going to hell. If you go to Olmec and you make him stomp right over the entrance to hell. That is accomplished by pulling, pulling on top of each other a bunch of push blocks. So that as they sink into the lava, Olmec stomps on them. Let me see. Can I, can I still do this? Can I still do this? Oh, baby! I took a shot at the king and I did not miss. So I am freaking elite of this Belunkin shenanigans. Unfortunately, no Cali. So it sounds simple, but it's actually I have I only have the knowledge of the theory. I know in theory what it takes. I have purposefully not practiced it, not actually looked up what it in fact entails i just have seen it done in two different ways the long one and the short way the long way and the short way the long way you take your long ass time to make a tower as high as you can possibly make it mistakes were made but hopefully this scum lord shall blow up you take your time to make a tower as high as you make it and then stomp Olmec right on top of it, maybe with a jetpack. You can maybe, hopefully, get that done that way. The fast way, and it's the way that I hope to accomplish things because I am trash garbage at making a tower full of blocks. The fast way is to manage to time it just right. So you push the block of the ledge exactly as Olmec comes down and he catches up to the falling push block and stomps it right over the entrance to hell. I'm going to try kind of like a hybrid of both of those I'm trying to find some sacrificial meat so we can praise our old style Cali. She's original style not extra crispy. I almost thought that I was about to get poisoned. No poisons! Like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no, you, you, you exist. Please. <laughs> There's no poison in Spelunky HD. There's only standard despair. That's right. Uh, spikes, I mean, cobwebs are not the ultimate deterrent for shopkeepers in Spelunky HD. Uh, it's weird to come back, you know, have to relearn the things that I used to know by heart and now 
there's a whole bunch of things like, hey, it's no longer like that because, you know, you're thinking about the new mechanic, not the old mechanic. It's gonna get me for sure at some point. So anyway, I was on purpose not looking up any of these things. How to actually accomplish it. Because I was like, oh, let's make it into an adventure, a, a, a learning process. We're going to do the full run, get to Omex, see what happens. Bit of a nostalgia trip as well. It's it's a good time. Oh yeah, yeah. Especially since in the randomizer that I have been doing for a while now, it's so difficult to actually get any kind of peace. But this entire challenge is it's a chill experience. Until you get to all make and then you make a complete fool out of yourself. Because you suck balls at actually making the tower. Please do not get murdered here. That would be fantastic not to get murdered. Okay. That's right. The <laughs> ropes do not. Uh, uh, stun shot keepers. That was... It was an excellent th thrown rope that did absolutely nothing. <laughs> Being spoiled by Spelunky 2 mechanics. We don't care about the black market. Although it would be beneficial to go there simply to have more explosives because it is quite the ordeal, I imagine, to get some, uh, you know, to get those blocks exactly where they need to be. Omex layer is solid. It is a tough place to break down. You know what? Let's just blow our, our way through this nonsense. It's a tough nut to crack. All those push blocks out of there. Well, you may get unlucky and there will be any push blocks. You're guaranteed at least one, though, so... There was no Cali, but uh, it seems... It behooves me to get Jacqueline to the exit there. And... Uh, Get a nice, sweet, narcotic, laced kiss to the face! I seem to only notice girl- No, no, there was also a dog at some point. It's like, did I only have females? I want to save everybody. I'm an equal opportunity. Equal opportunity. Savior. I am an extremely good person. That never does anything for ulterior motives. Yes, I will go to the Haunted Castle. Thank you very much. We don't give a crap about going to the Farmer's Market. Farmer's Market is full of uh, yokels. Please, I would like to be able to traverse this area without having to spin a freaking rope. I will help myself to this wonderful cake. It's weird, okay? I don't need to explain to you how strange it is. To come back into this wonderful land of retro gaming. It's a mad shot keeper at some point, I am sure. I know that he's at the exit, I know it. The question is, how do I get rid of him? For now, I'm just not going to think about it. Spending more than one bomb is anathema to me. I don't want to spend three bombs. And still, I'm gonna do it. Oh, gorgeous. Fantastic. All right, let's get some sweet sacrifice. Don't worry about it. There will be a shop full of bombs at some point in the future. Don't even overthink it. It's going to be easy. And if nothing else, we'll make a tunnel. And I'll totally pull off the fast push of the technique in one try. And this will be a one-episode series. <laughs> That's going to be so good. Just harvesting a little bit of blood as I go forward. You know, kind of enjoying my time in Spelunky HD. It's nice to come back now and then. Get reacquainted with a fantastic, wonderful experience. The game that was, for the longest time, regarded the perfect game. Do I still feel that? If nothing else, Spelunky 2 worked very well to point out both the incredible strengths of Spelunky HD, but also its flaws. 
Like, how can it be the perfect game when it, it feels this janky? It's hard. Like, it, it, it feels so much more of a rough edge experience than Spelunky 2. Graphics and gameplay-wise, the controls and everything is like not quite what it should be after being used to the responsiveness of Spelunky 2. That being said, I'm not saying that is bad, I'm just saying that, like, you know, it just points out how m much improvement there can be. I have a cape. It just now registered in my head that I have a cape. There was an absolute maniac in this exit, as you can uh, ascertain for yourself if you use your own two eyeballs to observe the progress <laughs> of this run. I am not giving a crap about the quest chain. Oh, jeez. The exit is uh, not this way. No spike shoes, unfortunately. <laughs> Alright, one bomb should do it, but I don't want it, though. Do I get greedy or do I just use a bomb? Or do I go for option number three? Ah. Option number three, take a rope over here, alert this scum lord. I'm gonna use another rope in case this crate contains the ultimate price. Good enough. No worries about having to blow up dumbass bombs. Surely he's dead, right? I can just descend uh, at my leisure. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> well, it's a... Uh, uh, it, uh, the thing that I miss the most of Spelunky HD. The shopkeepers and their absolute lunacy. It's just a completely different vibe in Spelunky 2. Where they, they go uh, quantity over quality with the shopkeepers instead of making the, each and every one a complete madhouse of a threat they just get piled up and uh, murder you through attrition it's just, it just ain't the same vibe I love Spelunky HD shopkeepers and when I say love I mean loaf with all my heart I really wanted that crate but I am running out of ropes oh, yo, yo. please don't <laughs> Off to the abyss. <laughs> the rope. You, you can't grab the rope. You can't do it. And the run. This, but it's alright. We've been here only 12 minutes. That was a practice run. It was pretty shit anyway. I, I did not appreciate the fact that I only have 14 bombs to do my business. There was no free jetpack on the very first shop. Absolutely outrageous. I demand a refund. We're going to go back and try the dirt again. It's just not right. Not feeling amazing with my the way that I'm controlling this old Paco. He has stiff joints. He has creaky knees. His cartilage is giving out all that damn meniscus pain. It's getting to him. Poor bastard. Got the arthritis building up. He didn't write. I mean, I'm not into the entire quest line, but if the chest and key happen to be in your face, why not? Basically free specs. Let's do the good old uh, technique uh, in which you fail completely to grab the shotgun because the shop wasn't good enough. So you just want to restart. You kind of have to grab the shotgun for that entire strategy to work out. It is sort of a vital requirement so I okay <laughs> okay we have finally have found the difficulty slider I have put it all the way down to easy mode for babies what could have possibly wanted this crate I already have this jetpack I'm set bitch let's just see if we can find a shop with all kinds of explosives. Parachute. Hey, but we actually <laughs> opened the way to Cali. Just propitious. That was ser serendipitous right there. Freaking fate. For us to find Cali's entrance without even trying. 
This Kali warship is something foretold by the stars. It gives me a jar full of jets for me to drink and be merry. Okay, let's not be stupid. This is, this is not, not hard. There you go. Much better. Ah, we're still pissing off shopkeepers. Who the hell do you think you're sp speaking to? If Look, in Spelunky 2, pissing off shopkeepers is kind of foolhardy. It's just, just not something you want to do outside of a challenge. It is literally so making your game harder. In Spelunky HD, it's basically a requirement. If you have any semblance of a hairy scrotum. If there is no hair on your balls, okay, fine. Fine. But if you want to be a man, you cannot play for Spelunky HD without pissing off shopkeepers. Uh, you, I, I revoke your masculinity card. Go ahead, put on a skirt and some lipstick and I'll call, call you Greta. Because you are not fit to be a man if you're not murdering them shopkeepers. As you traverse the eternal caves. There's a small mistake, no big deal. No big deal, this jetpack will protect me from all harm. Slowly towards this nonsense, I am pretty that this man exists, but I am so glad that we can go back to that. Another thing that I really don't like about the difference in Sp with Spelunky 2 the way that they took away that wonderful trick that I just used, picking up that sticky bomb, dropping it at the right moment. I love that. It was one of my favorite moves between that and cascading bombs. Oh, what a great time. What a great time it is in Spelunky HD to use explosives in a satisfying way. Do I have time? Do I have time to get this Scorpid to Cali. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> I was counting on the three health threshold that every single Spelunky 2 enemy has. Oh, yeah. Doesn't work like that. Spelunky 2. I mean, in HD. This guy be dead. Now look at all the wonderful flesh. Oh, a fantastic, uh... <laughs> Our lovely... Splunky HD bug of picking up the hard hand. They are a complete menace. In HD, and I, I keep talking about it like, you know, you, you may not know these things. Yeah, there's just, just no way to grab him. You may have gone straight into Splunky 2. And never had a HD experience. This guy's a bit of a nightmare. Oh, come on. Come back to me, you scum lord. That was a mistake. It's alright. We don't need to work too hard at it. Just don't think too hard about it. The problem will solve itself. For now, I need to get my warship on. Good old Callie has been starved. She's thirsty. She is so hungry. For Donovan's big, fat, fleshy, fake-ass leg. Oh, she loves Donovan's fake, juicy girthy leg to no on all right we're, we're good we got our we are properly equipped i hate this man and everything he represents and i love it <laughs> so i can properly loathe shopkeepers again oh i don't even need to murder you you are beneath my notice you scum lord you trash can. Filthy oppressor. They're all just so eager to see me. They're all like, oh, he's back. <laughs> They're all rejoicing. Just losing their shit. Like, oh, I'll be the one to murder him. No, I'll be the one 
the old just just jumping for joy. Uh, the old Paco coming back, trying to harvest this blood, but it just jumps around so much, much like this absolute maniac. Just go to the bottom. I'm sure that there's no absolutely insane shopkeeper at the end, making my life hard. Seems like there is one at the exit, though. Careful, careful, careful. Probably there's one right there. Yeah, this is a bit of a challenge, bit of a chore. To get rid of this weirdo. Gonna have to do something like this. There you are. He did. He did? He did. It's all good. Get some extra blood. Sweet deal. Ah, yes. It just, it, I like to bask in it. At least in the first time that I'm back. If this goes over 5, 10 episodes, because I am an utter zero at lining up a bunch of push blocks. I'm throwing them with proper timing, with Olmec stomping down. Which sounds simple, but I don't think it's gonna be. <laughs> it's gonna be a complete freaking nightmare to pull off. I saw both... Xana gear and I think Hectic pull it off. And that's the extent of my research. What you got? Nothing down there. Nothing down there. Oh baby. Where are you? You disgusting pal of rotten meat! You did. I'm just going to chill over here and shoot the crap out of this scum lord. Remember shopkeeper hyper armor? I am sure we're going to encounter it at some point. Please don't die in the ice caves. It will be so damn humiliating. The fact that I died in the ice caves of all, of all places. Sad. Alright, alright. Just... Oh. It's not poison. It's not the horrendous, terrible threat that it used to be. Still annoying as hell though. So nice to be able to just shoot straight into the bombs. You did. Oh, that's exactly what we need to accomplish this damn goal. You know, it will be fantastic, I assume. A Matok. I think a Matok. Oh, what? <laughs> I forget. A Matok will be fantastic. Because blowing up the spaces around. Whoop! Okay, how about we just find the exit and we leave? Because this maniac can just jump right out of there. Make my life a living hell. I think I just saw the black market on the background, but could be wrong though. Doesn't matter. We're not interested in that scum of the scum, that, that den of scum and villainy. All we're interested about is just getting the hell out. I do want this crate. It could be incredible. The most impressive, amazing crate. I mean, I may have made my life a little bit harder. <laughs> Not the greatest move of all time. Hey, hey, wanna grab that? Scumbag. Okay, we actually get one bomb out of the whole experience. Incredible. The one first attempt just uh, nicely pads my time. All the way to 30 minutes, which is... Oh! <laughs> That's right. I completely forgot that. <laughs> no, no comment, nothing. I was distracted by the yelling. I got deafened. Completely deafened by the Yeti. My brain was discombobulated, and so uh, I was completely unable to understand that I was standing on literal thin ice. Holy, am I really not going to make it to Olmec? <laughs> really not gonna make it to Olmec. How sad would that be? I am definitely going to just play the game until I make it to Olmec. Even if we stay two hours in our first attempt 
at Splunky HD. How sad. Pathetic. And you, you know, I do have the excuse of getting used to it. It does take some doing. Getting back into the, the way that everything works in HD. But I'm pretty sure that Thin Ice also exists in Spelunky 2. Please. What? <laughs> with the whipping HD is not even close to as effective. Fantastic. A great get. Hey, Scum Lord. Oh, you eat a mouthful of pellets. Man. Free jetpack. Cali was pleased. 20 billion bombs. Took that whole beautiful run. Threw it straight into the garbage. An absolute buffoon. I don't think I want to keep this Matok all the way to Olmec. And what a what an optimistic sentence to utter. When I am down to two health in the mines, you know? I don't know if it's gonna work out. I don't even want to grab Donovan, he's a idiot. Got himself into that situation to begin with. I am passing. Ooh, ah! Incredible super bouncy mega spiders. What, what do you want me to do? It, it's just they're too powerful. Too much of a threat. Too much of a freaking threat. And here we are creeping on the 26 minute mark. Still going through the mines. Hmm. Oh, that's right. You can use little mice. In fact, to jump in front of it. Okay, Jack, get to the damn exit. Don't embarrass me any further. I need to go all the way over here. Wait for this dumbass cobwebs. Get that crate. Please. I need it. It's a piece of garbage. It's actually pretty decent, but I was hoping for some resources. <sighs> this is so painful. It's so shameful. You're making me mad. Getting killed in the mines. Oh! <laughs> I hope that you enjoy my extremely manly expression of dismay. I'm sure that it caught you off guard just how incredibly manly that was. There you go. Just gotta get rid of all the opposition. Steal their stuff. Feels pretty good. All right, we, we're gonna make it to Olmec. It's gonna be fantastic. You do need more than six bombs or, or a Matok. I mean, you can simply make a shaft with Olmec stomping down, but that seems like a horrible position to be in. And of course, I feel you also need to get a little lucky with the location of the entrance to hell because you can't even see it because you don't have the Book of the Dead. There you are. You know, so it's not like every single run is one that can easily... Uh, you can easily do the chain skip. I think you do need to restart a bunch of times. I'm just going to operate on the assumption that the guy at the exit is dead. Another little bit of bumps. Slowly building up my arsenal. So good, everything's fine. Don't worry about a thing. It's all been rehearsal runs. Should not have murdered that guy. He didn't uh, need to be murdered. Callie likes them to wriggle and struggle. I keep climbing. The climbing ladders is such a slow progress. I have been untrained from jumping up every damn ladder I encounter. Huh? Huh? Okay, I actually made it to the other side. I could have sworn I just saw a shopkeeper shop. Shopkeeper shop, 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 shop. Shop, 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 shopkeeper shop, shop, shop. I don't know what happened there. I think I may have just had an aneurysm. Let me just stomp him, right? Just, just stomp him. The problem is... Huh? 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 We're just going to chill over here and just murmur him real good. Get me this dog. Callie. She was at the top. 
only have three robes though. Is it worth going back? Very difficult to go back. Let's just get the point of health. Oh, it will leave me like zero ropes, I think, to make it all the way to the top. So let's simply uh, move forward. Once more, uh, darkness is something to be respected. In Spelunky 2, it's kind of like, eh. Bit, bit of a, an annoyance, but not a big deal. Spelunky HD. You leave that torch behind at your own peril. You're gonna have a real bad time. God damn it. <laughs> I can't see a damn thing. I might as well go back. For my shotgun. I guess I'll just illuminate the entirety of my surroundings with violence. Just like my mom taught me. She said, Little Waldi. She told me, little wildy. Here you find yourself in a dark place surrounded by monsters. Just swing those haymakers. If you knock them all out, they will not be able to put their peepee -pee in your butthole. That's exactly how she said it. I was like, Mom, why are you talking like that? I don't know English. Ah, she's... Get out, get out, get out, get out! <laughs> this is so dumb! This is so terrible! I didn't see the damn exit, okay? Even though a giant red... Red arrow was pointed at it. I was mire in darkness. A remembrance. Of my mother's incredibly sage counsel. Got completely taken off guard. Completely taken off guard. She's not right. 31 minutes. Back to the mines. Maybe try not sucking so hard. That will work out pretty nicely. Not sucking super hard. Uh, the Splunky HD experience. That's all right. We got a second jetpack now. My life is saved. Climbing gloves, though. The climbing gloves in HD are quite the thing. After being, you know, it was weird to get used to climbing gloves in 2, but it's definitely the better control scheme. Going back to sticking forever to a wall is going to be slightly uh, problematic. I keep trying to make Paco get off the damn wall. You had to down and jump. Upsetting. It's alright, it's fine. Everything's going to be fine. We're going to speed run all the way to Olmec. It's going to be easy. No horrendous pitch black darkness is going to get in my way. No bout of terrible incompetence will hinder my progress. In no way, shape, or form shall shopkeepers become. An insurmountable obstacle. What are you doing? What are you doing? There you go. <laughs> I thought that my bombs were coated with jizz. We're not though. Okay, so there's a maniac over there. We don't disturb him. We wait this guy out to to patrol a little bit of patrol away. Patrol away now. Kapow! Oh, fantastic! No, no! <laughs> it was murderous intent. Uh, saw my face. He was filled with rage and lust. I'm going to punch your throat out and then I will put all kinds of stiff, girthy, meaty legs inside your cavity. And then your other cavity. And then I'll make a third cavity. And also stuff that one. Yeah, <laughs> he's, he's too powerful. The incredible ninja shopkeeper, capable of being hurt. You did, all right. Holy oh, crap, brother! Or are you so damn complicated? Pretty sure we passed the damsel. Let's go retrieve. Let's go retrieve and expend.
quite certain. It exists. Oh yeah! <laughs> Ring of hell, brother. <laughs> oh, I did not enjoy that. That was not a, an enjoyable interaction between all the moving parts in the level. Please, I, I just want to find Mark. I am sure that is a Mark. Hey, Mark. I thought that I had heard your ridiculous dumbass yelling. Jokes on you. You call for help, and I will help you into oblivion. My health is dropping to uh, dangerous levels. At least we got a jar full of jizz out of the whole ordeal. Unfortunately, no more things to sacrifice. We are not looking great. I've been spoiled by the 101 ways in which you can gain health in Spelunky 2. Spelunky HD, very stingy with the points of health doled out. Oh, there's a black market. We're definitely going there. Because there's good stuff to be found. But my health is, uh, could be better. Maybe we can find... Maybe we can find a human or a dog to throw through the exit. Holy crap. Too damn powerful. There's a human. Put a bomb there. We come this way. Put a bomb there. I'll admit the black market strategies. They're slightly fuzzy in my memory. <laughs> Pretty sure you don't want to just charge forward. Oh yeah, yeah, you waited things out, didn't you? I remember now. You just, especially if there's hired hand, it's just not a good idea to just jump into the madness. You bomb that area so they can go down. They cannot climb the ladders. So the other guys already down. Fantastic stuff. You have the jizzy bombs. You always drop two in there. I don't know why I leave it one. Somehow it always works. To put two, if you put only one, it ain't good. All right, here's the extra life that is going to allow me to get to where I want to be. We we'll shoot down the chute. Assume nothing. There's no safety. It's only despair. Oh, oh. Shoot down the shoot. Oh, man. Now this definitely takes me back. Going back into the black market, slaughtering a whole bunch of pathetic miscreants. Uh, we do have the specs, so we don't really care. Trash garbage compactors. Careful, though. Careful. A lot of shopkeepers dead here, but you don't know. You don't know what's going on. Sweet deal. And, you know, it's an easy level. You get to pass it. No, no big deal. Oh, fantastic. We got everything we wanted. I think I need to endeavor. Alter all the messages in Spelunky 2 like I did with Spelunky HD. <laughs> There's uh, quite the variety of silly things. You know what? Just bomb that. Just bomb that. What are you doing? Get the hell out. Still on the in the jungle, huh? it just somehow it just feels so much longer, so much longer to get through the beginning. Oh, don't get boomeranged! I honestly don't remember whether they stun lock you in HD. I sure as hell don't want to find out. <laughs> they do stun lock you. They do. At uh, the very least, they, they do a, a terrible number in your butthole. That should take care of my problem. My mustachio shaped problem. And this idiot should make it to the exit. Spare me a little bit of extra health as we carry on. Hopefully, we're gonna find a Kali out there. The health situation is not great. Oh, crap, my. Oh, my leg itched all oh, so hard. All right, hey, uh, maybe the temple is a possibility in this HD run. Here I am with my lofty goals of, hey, let's do the incredible fancy new skip. Uh, let's perhaps tamper of expectations a little bit 
and uh, set up a new goal. Oh, that's very good. I definitely want that. Set up a new goal of, hey, maybe, you know, get past the ice caves. That'll be amazing. It's so good. Get past the freaking ice caves. Don't really care about... Okay, I was like, ooh, there's an angry shopkeeper above me. How could this be? And it's just the weirdo inside the vault. Managed to get himself trapped in there. I'm not going to be the one. I'm trying to find a damsel to get some extra health, but it ain't gonna happen. Here I am trying my darndest. And we want the pickaxe because it'll make freeing blocks for all make a lot easier. Okay. There's absolutely nothing I want there. We have only trash. There's no way you could jump over to this side. Could it possibly? No. Nah. Let's go all the way to the bottom. You weirdo. Big, fat, filthy, dumb piece of a trash! <laughs> ah, feels good to just, just let it rip on these scumbags. You know, dancers will be very welcome. I'm pretty sure that they're still spawning somewhere. Woo! Okay. When it rains, it pours. <laughs> How generous of you. There you are. Completely encased in ice. What a terrible fate. You're so lag lucky, Jackie. No, oh, please. <laughs> These are so tiny. Tiny and gross. Well, broke even. Amazing. We continue limping forward in our Spelunky HD experience. It's weird to constantly have to say HD. I'm just going to say Spelunky. And you can understand that I'm talking about this particular game. And then, and then suddenly go to classic Spelunky. Let's give that dog to the exit. He deserves it. He's a good boy. Major stupid. The whip is so much uh, less reliable. The timing of it is weird and it's a lot faster. The aggressive frames for it in the back are definitely not even close to as good. It takes some actual skill to back whip. All right. Absolutely banger of the uh, temple music. Another amazing loss that we had with Spelunky 2. That's something I will not apologize about. It will not make caveats. I do not care. What do you have to say? Spelunky 2 music does not hold a candle to Spelunky 1. I guess I'll just bomb here. I want nothing to do with you, Anubos. Just trying to get all the way to the damn bottom. Eh? Okay, there will be a maniac. Ah! You son of an ass bitch ass! Piece of garbage! Oh! Mmm! Thank goodness I have my unk, but holy crap! There was no music! He was supposed to be peaceful at the exit! That one, look, I have sucked ass through most of the day playing Spelunky. That one I will not take the blame for. Absolutely not to blame. But what just happened? Okay, buddy. Just come, come running. Come running. I'm waiting for you now. Okay, he dead. Is he dead? I have been bamboozled before. He's dead. <laughs> Alright. We won the pickaxe. Get me out. We could have actually grabbed the dog. Okay, through the exit. It's alright. I mean, I didn't lose a ton. Just, you know. That extra life, that's what it was there for, I suppose. Careful. We don't want to be fired. There 
the freaking maniac. You can just wait this one out. And the exit goes through my butthole. Yeah, baby. Uh, I probably just want to dig down. I don't want to mess with this, but I mean, I've been. It's been so long since I was in the temple. I'm too intimidated by all the dangers in here. So I'm full of respect. I understand the horrendous ordeal that getting through this place can be. That being said, HD Temple, not as awful as Plunky 2 Temple. Well, buddies, we made it to the damn exit. We made it to freaking Olmec. At the very least, we're gonna get a damn attempt. Is it, it can't be, it can't be this difficult to get to Olmec every time. This is just an outlier. Don't worry about it. And in fact, I'm going to accomplish my goal right now in the next 30 minutes because I am sure I'm going to be incapable of thinking through this nonsense. You were supposed to kill the, the Birdman. Dumbass, big ass, stupid ass head. Alright, let me just go to the top first. Maybe there will be some incredible resources up here. Or there could be absolutely nothing. Please, no ropes. All bombs, and only bombs, please. Thank you. There was a pile of gold, I had to grab it. Alright, so step number one. Find the damn hell entrance. We're gonna have to dig down a little bit. We forgot if that's a thing that happens. And uh, I don't want to destroy any of the blocks. Get wrecked, Birdman. I hate you. Let's just uh, go down a little bit. We do need to go down a bunch. Wonder why that enemy uh, didn't sp spawn properly. Alright, let me. Uh... This is a pretty decent spot. Let me get Olmec all the way to the side. I'm gonna descend down there. I'm gonna take a look. Stop it, stop in there. Question. I mean, it's not up to you, right? I was about to say, which side do you want to make the shaft so you can make the pile of uh, rocks, but it all depends on where the damn exit is at. So uh, let's just make one by one. I wanna look down, be able to see as soon as possible. Okay, from here I can see it already it's not in the middle that's unfortunate put another one here lots of blocks though that's nice it's at the very start huh okay Olmec and we move you all the way to the other side which is unfortunate because there's a ton of blocks on that side it would be so much nicer to do it on that side. Already free two of them. Let me just get him all the way to the corner so we have plenty of room to work. Let's get some verification over here. Let's see. We'll put it right here. Man. I mean, there's a lot of blocks here. It's probably optimal. The amount of blocks over here. We're going to clear as many as possible. I do need to think, this is going to drive you insane, you need to exercise a whole bunch of patience right now, because I am so bad at thinking this nonsense through, I'm going to be blowing up a lot of these blocks by mistake because I'm dumb. I'm gonna put a bomb here, I should take care of only normal blocks, alright. But anyway, this is nearly optimal, so I, I'm guaranteed to throw into the garbage. Um, a bomb here will destroy a lot of those blocks. This one will destroy blocks that I don't want to destroy. I think I want to clear. Can I? Oh, yeah, yeah, I can look at with the cursor. Look at that. Oh, amazing. Incredible HD technology. There's none in there. It's Blunky too. Destroy these right here. I make a big ass tower. Like destroy also this part. Man, it's 
It's, it's so dumb to think about. <laughs> Make a tower on this side. Yeah, yeah, that's what the way I want to do it. So, like, destroy all these? No, wait, wait, wait. The omen needs to come from the other side. So the tower needs to be on this side. So that way you can teeter on the, on the edge and then push it. Although if you're pushing it ahead of time, it doesn't really matter. It's only for the fast method that you want to do it that way. So I'll try to make a tower right here. That's the aim. So for that... I need to clear the area. Give me my mat up. My beautiful tool of destruction here. Please do not break on me. Definitely that one. Definitely that one. This allows... We probably want to destroy that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, there's even more blocks on that side. Do I want this turn? No, just just swing there. All right, so this one can fall on top. That's very nice. There's no moving that one on the top. <coughs> <coughs> you already have a three-block tower here. The thing is, how do you put these on top? This is not. It's not trivial, is it? Swing here. Uh, push this. Let's throw it here. That was a mistake. Because <laughs> now I kind of have to push it this way. It's not a disaster. Destroy this and destroy this. Destroy that, maybe. That may have also been a mistake. I don't think so. Well, no, I meant to do this. <laughs> well, that was, that was terrible, but still not a deal breaker. We can stack four here with without much difficulty, and then it's not too hard to get them down there. Okay. I'm so paranoid that I'm going to not get it right. Now this one is like that. It's so strange. How am I going to push it over? I think I want to push this one already. Actually, we can maybe get this one on top? Nah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Push this. Destroy that one. Push, 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 push. Go over here. Oh, stack four. Fantastic. Blow that up. <coughs> Let's not screw it up. Blow this up. To get it to as close to ground level as possible. If I put a bomb on this one, it will not destroy... It may destroy that one. So let me just do that. Alrighty. Bottom, there you go. Amazing. Thing is, you do need to destroy the bottom. You don't want to use a bomb for that. So it will make the stack. Ah, so, yeah, yeah, we, we just push it. Can I actually make a five stack, maybe? Can I make a five stack? I don't think I can. I will just not have room. Or will I have room? I can totally make this five stack. Oh, I may not be able to get in there, but I do have the mat dog. It should be fine. Should be fine. I'm not throwing it away. Should be fine. There's the five stack. Amazing. Let me just dig, dig, dig. There you go. Now, I really don't like how this stacked. Because when I throw in the... Throw it down, he's going to crush me. But since we have so many blocks... 
pretty sure I can get away with pushing this over to this side. There you go. Now, get all my close. Of course, we want to push it pretty far. We want to destroy uh, right here, I think. I think we want also that block gone. This right here. Nah. This should be okay. This should be okay. I think that's that's where we're pushing. I'm concerned, but I think this will work. Don't want to push it yet. Let's get all make a bit closer. We could even put another one on top of there with this block. I think it's dual, but that's pretty good. This was the optimal spawn. Now comes the moment of truth. This is really not not easy. I want to coach this before I threw it into the garbage. Because we still need Olmec to stomp on it. But this will take a long time for it to actually sink. Ah, oh, you son of a bitch. Okay, Olmec. Come, come. Come faster. This is what my wife told me last night. I'm going to repeat it to you. Come faster. Just come back. Come do it. Bitch. What is happening? You piece of trash. You did not do it. Oh, why was he not stomping? That is so weird. Why wasn't he stomping? I was right beneath him. He, he should have been destroying that. That was bizarre. At least I can say it wasn't my fault. I did everything right. Olmec did not comply with my tactic and my uh, my uh, desire. Do let me know in the comments if you know why wasn't he stomping over there? He got stuck without stomping properly. I, I am a little confused there, but uh, that just means that we're gonna have to try again next time. <laughs> it's alright. I like Spelunky anyway.